Hello, my abnormal family. I wanted to put a video out today that was kind of going to uh, kind of show you what we're going to be talking about tonight on the live. Uh, tonight we're going to be uh, remembering Claudia Ackley, um, a good friend of Kirk's and also a great Bigfoot enthusiast that uh, was on the uh, just on the up and up that was trying to prove that Bigfoot exists. Uh, but we are going to talk about her tonight, and also we're going to be talking about werewolves and found a story I wanted to share with you guys straight out of my uh, out of my state and don't forget if you're not a member become a member because next Thursday is going to be our member drop only video so um, if you're not a member and you'd like to see that video and be the first to see it uh, all you have to do is become a member uh, I got this for y'all this happened when this happened when a year ago when I was 14 and part of the woods of Oklahoma I was going on a trip in Oklahoma with my parents, my two sisters, my two aunts, my uncle, and four cousins. We rented a cabin so we can stay so we could stay for a week. When we got to the cabin, we unpacked all of our stuff and got everything inside. After that, I went out to check the woods surroundings and the cabin. There was nothing but trees for miles as far as the eye could see. I also saw a lone deer grazing so everything was normal. We went out to pick up some food at the nearest restaurant. When we got back, we found big paw prints, which I've never seen in my life. Back home, my family uh, owned three dogs, two small ones and one big one. I have measured my big dog's paw prints and they are as big as my hand. This paw print was much bigger. I asked my father what kind of wild dogs left these paw prints. He said it could have belonged to a coyote or worse scenario, a wolf. After that, we watched a movie while eating dinner, and after we went to sleep, since it was getting dark, I was sleeping in the living room, and the rest of my family slept in their own room. I stayed up a few minutes on my phone playing games, and while doing that, I heard noises from outside. It sounded like a large canine panting. I don't know why, but I decided to go see what it was from the window, and what I saw gave me goosebumps. I saw two glowing orange eyes. From my experience, it looked like a wolf's glowing eyes. As I saw it in the movies, but the weird thing is the eyes were about seven to eight foot off the ground, different from a normal height of a wolf. I got frightened, so I ducked down. After five minutes, I looked back, and the creature, whatever it was, was gone. I went on the couch to hide under the covers until the sun came up. The next morning, me and my family are eating breakfast, and I didn't bring up what I would saw the night to them because they would not believe me, or they would probably call me crazy. The next two days, nothing else happened until the third day. Me and my cousin decided to go walking in the woods. No one else wanted to come with us, so it was just the two of us. While we are walking, we were talking about video games and other stuff. When we stopped talking, we noticed the woods were dead silent. I stopped my cousin, and he noticed as well. After a few minutes, we heard a twig snap. We turned into the direction of the noise, and what we saw will forever haunt us. We saw a large wolf covered in dark fur but it looked like it was muscular and on its front paws looked like human hands. Then the wolf stood up on its hind legs and it towered, it towered me and my cousin. It snarled on us and we saw its teeth. It looked like it had human teeth, but some of them looked sharp. Me and my cousin ran back to the cabin with the wolf creature right behind us running on all fours. We didn't look back because we knew it would slow us down. By some miracle we made it to the cabin and when we looked back to the wolf creature was gone. We ran inside and locked the door. The family saw us in surprise. <coughs> they asked us what happened. We told them everything. My sister and my mother's cousins didn't believe us. One of my aunts was shocked. My mother was frightened. And my other aunt didn't believe us at all. But my father and uncle, well, they believed us. My father warned us that the rest of the family not to go outside without an adult. It was getting late and we were still up watching TV. And that's when all of a sudden we heard an ear-piercing howl, and now the rest of my family believed what me and my older cousin were talking about. It happened, and the next terrified my entire family. We heard the front door was being scratched by something. My father was about to go look through the window, but when he saw it, the wolf creature was at the window, and its eyes were glowing orange, and it was snarling at us. My father and my uncle both grabbed their rifles, turned on the porch light, and went outside. But once again, the wolf creature was gone. Me and my family went outside and we saw a lot of dead animals scattered all over the place and we also saw claw marks on the door and blood stains. 
We went back inside and locked the doors and the windows. My father kept guard in case the wolf creature comes back. The rest of us went to sleep, still terrified. It was a half moon outside, but it was a bright half moon. So I'm sure that's what was causing the glow of the eyes. Sounds like a gibbous moon, don't it, guys? Or a waning. A few hours later, I was still, and I looked at the window, and there it was again. I stared at it, and it stared back at me with those glowing eyes. Then it turned around and disappeared into the dark woods. I went back to bed, still scared, and I didn't get much sleep that night as I hid under the covers. In the morning, we ate breakfast, packed all of our stuff, and headed home. We never went back into those woods again, and were still terrified after last night's events. After a few months, I did a little research, and I believe me and my cousin may have seen a werewolf that night, or at least a dogman. I've never seen nothing like that again in my life, and I hope we never do. I hope that the people that go to this cabin do not become the victims of it, and I hope that no one ever gets hurt there. When we were leaving, we let the guards know, and we let the ranger know. He said we were not the first ones to report seeing a creature like this, and they would probably shut down the area until they were able to kill the wolf, and he smiled at us like he knew what we were speaking about. I hope this helps somebody and saves people, and it lets you know that these things do exist. My family to this day do not go to the woods. It run it for everybody. Be safe. Wanted to share this. Lexi from Oklahoma. Wanted to share that with you guys. I thought you would uh, enjoy hearing that story before we do our live tonight since it is going to be over werewolves tonight. Uh, Oklahoma has had a lot of sightings of these long-nosed uh, dogman werewolves, whatever you want to call them, uh, bipedal canines. Uh, but I want to share it with you. Don't forget, uh, tonight, 7.45 p.m., we'll be live. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. And um, until next time, keep your head on a swivel and be safe.